Hello everyone, welcome to another fan to play fantasy match preview. This is for the game between Sri Lanka and Afghanistan. Both teams will want to get a win, especially Sri Lanka, to stay in the fight. And we have Nikhil Bhai with us today to carry you through the preview and give you some crazy insights. Bilkul, thank you as always for having me. Thankfully, the games also so far have been kind, despite some captains going very, very crazy. And we know who we are talking about here. But let's not put the big shows aside. Uh, it's very important to stick to a base team, back it because it is working. So, same rules, form se nahi maste karte. And uh, let's have a good game again. Yes, absolutely. So, first up, let's look at what venue conditions we have on offer for both the games today. So, this game is going to be played at Brisbane. Both the games rather on the same ground. And keep in mind that first game, there is a chance of slight rain. And while it might not be as heavy during the game or it might just end a little after the game begins, you keep in mind that it is forecast to be wet all before the game begins. So maybe that will affect pitch and ground conditions in some way. Maybe the ball does not race to the fence as fast as possible. Maybe there's some moisture in the pitch. So keep all of those things in mind because from whatever we understood today, while there was bounce, the pitch was not... Didn't, wasn't really moist, did not really have any grass on it, and it was pretty much dry. Bilkul, or Jesse and the Kam, Matt said, Pele, Kafi Baris came for forecast, hai Baris Philip. So it could clear up, but hmm. the conditions will linger around. Uh, I think Dusra game is still pretty clear. A weather hmm. forecast or weather forecast, a kitna sayota, we don't know. But if important Q is about to talk about it, because the first game is Afghanistan Sri Lanka, both of its strength and its pain. Hmm. And if the conditions are like that, it will either nullify both their, both their attacks, or given how horrible or uh, horrible, given how unpredictable their batting is, it could still keep them in the game. So hmm. after the visualization, career, it's very important to keep these conditions in mind. Usually, we've seen Pacers do much better at this venue. And that I think should continue. So maybe tomorrow, one of the differentials from your team could be a vice captain with a pace of two. But otherwise, average score remains the same here 160, 170. Teams batting first do not mind you know, defending because conditions are such. So uh, even in the Australian Ireland game, had Ireland just been a bit more smart and not mm. too ragged up top, Hector really almost got them very close. So uh, hopefully, we'll see a good game tomorrow because Afghanistan. We haven't seen them much. Uh, they also deserve to play. Right. right. And Tector has been named as Tucker has been named as Tector by Nikhil Bhai in this one. He's slightly yeah, he's slightly right. stuck right. in the real name off. But yes, right. that, that is a key point that the guy who settled in was actually able to bat well. And if you give yourself time up top, this is the kind of pitch where you yeah. can really settle in and score. And before we get to the base team. I hope all of you are taking active part in the investment leaderboard. I see a slight slowdown in the last few games. So make sure that you join a few more contests because the gap is widening from whatever I can see. So don't let widen and join more contests. So you're equally in the game as the guys above and behind you. In terms of, we keep saying the advantage of playing on F2P and to play is the way the platform is constructed in terms of you have uh, five all-rounders, you could play second in fantasy. It keeps saving me uh, whenever I get that right feel about it. So, it is hmm. easier to crack that. So, wo sara paisa jo aap pe invest kar rahe leader board mein dal lenge, aap sab mein dal lenge. Sabhi jaga se it will come back to you. So, I don't think that is a problem. Baki, do I aap ki to videos to aate rahenge. So, aap ke paas games ki kami nahi hoongi. Right, absolutely. So we hope all of you have downloaded the fan to play app already. If not, go so go and do so right now. The link is in the description. And yes, this is the sort of day where we want to go with two batters across games. So if you're joining small leagues with our base team, then I guess this will be the best app for you to do it. So let's look at what base team we have in store. So yes, the base team first up for Afghanistan versus Sri Lanka, like you can see. And we have gone with one keeper, Kusal Mendes. 
and two batters Pathom Nisanka and Ibrahim Zadran, both of whom are of the same theme of batting as we mentioned, like to give them time up top and then attack post that. Bilkul. And uh, I think with Zaza is already ruled out, Pakyo has basically options for hot come hmm. uh, The water keeper surely going to be a grand pick for many. Uh, so you can definitely try him. Uh, with, with the thing about this batting section is there aren't any assured performers from you apart from these two. Now, in those hmm. you have to say that does get out very early at times, but that's the risk you will always get with the opener. Ibrahim Zadar hmm. far more settled in terms of entry point and plays a settled game. Uh se eight plan ko naam dunga in grinding section, but otherwise you still have a lot of Sri Lankan options who, which might be better to try out here as opposed to uh, the other sections. And from Afghanistan, you'll always have Najibullah Jo Kisi ek game mein acha karenge. So let's see if it hmm. is this one. Right, and then when we look at the all-rounders, we have gone DDS, Hasranga, and Nabi. So, this ensures that you have a good thick set of batting from Sri Lanka because you're still being able to cover four batters even though we have not rammed up the batting section yeah. totally. And even from uh, Afghanistan, we have two guys who've shown good form in the main games and in the practice games. So, it's not like we are missing out on somebody who's heavy in touch, heavy on touch. Bilkul. If you feel like you want to still take an extra batter, you want to still take an extra batter, you can. That is the risk that we keep happening. That is the thing that one batsman will go. One batter will go. But that is the thing that one batsman will go. One batter will go. But if one batter will not pick the right pick. Now, Lorcan Tucker was a common option for many because where is batting so low. So, you don't have to worry about it from anyone else. But hmm. I won majority of my leagues because I took a risk on fate. Hmm. If you won a risk on fate, you will be in anger. And it would have been perfectly fine because you will be able to get the ball and get the ball. So that hmm. is the risk that we feel it is much harder to pick out the perfect batter as opposed to an all-rounder or a bowler who probably stays in the game and doesn't have to take a ball. So if you think that you don't have to pick up the strength of your batter, then so please go ahead and do that. In the game, all rounder में इनके अलावा और कोई आपको reliable option नहीं है risk के options हमेशा मिलेंगे इनके team शायद change करेंगे as per the venue right and then in the bowlers we have gone with Kasun who bowled very well in the last game and Mahesh Tikshana who will be the matchup for Gurbaz so if you are take, planning to take that guy then maybe you have to eliminate him unless the other problem is that Tikshana is also being used at the death at point yes. so that is one unpredictable factor and then from Afghanistan, we have gone with Fazal Haq, who we think will be very useful in these conditions. Yeah. And Rashid and Mujib, no questions asked on either of them. For this bowling section, uh, for Sri Lankan paces, at least we don't know how fit which bowler is. So, the rotation is very important. How many bowlers are playing with Sri Lanka? So, you can select your bowlers for Sri Lanka. For Afghanistan, the choices are much more straightforward. You know hmm. these guys will bowl the regular four hours. It's easier to pick their bowlers. And one thing to keep in mind for both these teams, both these teams, they can collapse in a heap to any one bowler. So, which is why we feel that if you bowler to miss out on a batter, you can take a batter. Because if you take a bowler, you can take a batter, you can take a batter, you can take a batter, you can take in the conditions given to give you those returns. So that is the logic behind going after more goals. Right, absolutely. Both these teams are known to suddenly pedal up the accelerator at any point, and whenever that happens, yeah. you'll see wickets and piles. Hence, we have opted to back the bowlers. And now it's time to see who is going to be backed in T2, T3, and the multiple teams. <laughs> So, Nikhil, bhai, who are your Grand League picks for this game? One from Afghanistan, one from Sri Lanka. Okay, now this one is proper Grand League pick, not in the base team. Uh, first Grand League pick from Afghanistan would be Usman Ghani. Uh, uh, I feel he's somebody who not many will pick. Uh, fairly decent in terms of Jitam who they I think he plays spin and pace both decently well. Again, hmm. it is going to be very tricky to back a batter, but because this game may batter differential, ho sakta hai, toh main Usman Ghani ke baare mein karo. Hmm. Cover liye. And uh, for Sri Lanka, 
I think Chamika Kalnaratne could be that guy uh, who could potentially give you a lot more. Because main pieces are not Chamika is bowling through the middle overs. And with Afghanistan, you are never really sure when they'll start to look hmm. to attack and they'll look to go after Chamika maybe more. Because he's one in two. If he gets fixed, he's going to get to get easy wickets. Uh, hmm. So I think Chamika could be a handy guy to try out, especially if Sri Lanka goes first. Right. My two Grand League picks for this game from Afghanistan, Rahmanullah Gurbaz, because I feel like if he goes past Tikshana, he is able to hit pace. He's, they, that's yeah. not his concern. And especially with the Sri Lankan pace, they might lose the line and length at points because they're not known, to, known for their consistency. So I feel like he might be able to capitalize on that. And from Sri Lanka, I'll continue to back Banuka Rajapaksa. He's known to play spin well. And if it has to be against Afghanistan that you are able yeah. to capitalize if you're a good spin player because they don't really have any great pace threats in the middle order. So, in the rather yeah. in the middle over. So, yeah. I feel like these two picks are these are opposition suited picks more than conditions. Yeah. But if they capitalize well, then it could be their day. Bilkul, bilkul. So that wraps up, wraps, rather wraps up the preview for uh, this specific game. And jersey giveaway will happen in the England versus New Zealand game. The preview there. So do tune in for that one. Thank you so much to everyone who tuned in here. Do remember to hit the like button before you leave. Have a great game. Yes, do not slip up like us. Have a good game.